Hey guys, Ben Crane here. This is my boy Brady. How old are you, Brady? I'm 11. Brady's 11. He's been playing a lot of basketball and golf recently. I'm trying to get that plane shallowed out, getting a little shallower. And uh, I've been playing some good golf and working on that left hand in basketball, I'm trying to tighten up his handles a little bit. So I wanted to share with you guys a couple of things that have encouraged me in the Word. It also might encourage you in this time where you have a lot of extra time. And um, fellowship of Christian athletes, right? So fellowship, the word is um, that we're supposed to meet together. So Hebrews 10, 24 and 25 says, let us continue to spur one another on toward love and good deed. Let us not give up meeting together, but let us do it all the more as we see the final days approaching. And um, so <clears throat> one of the ways we can meet together is by meeting together on Zoom or um, Skype, or um, you're probably able to play with some of your friends in your neighborhood. Um, but reminding each other of the truth. Um, Jesus says in um, John 14, he says, I am the way, the truth, and the life, and that no one comes to the Father except through me. And so um, Jesus is the way. So we're wondering which way to go, what to do. Well, we know that we're supposed to follow him. And, um, and then John 10, 10 says um, that the enemy comes to kill, steal, and destroy, but I've come to give you life and to give life more abundantly. That is what I want. And I know that's what you want as well. So I think it's so important in these days to stay attached to the vine. John 15 talks all about staying attached to the vine, abiding in him, being close to him, following him. Um, and so, and the enemy we know wants to take us down. He wants to distract us. He wants to take us away from the things that stir our affections for God. So we're to trust in him, Proverbs 3, 5, and 6, with all of our heart, lean not on our own understanding in these crazy times, but acknowledge him and all we do, and he will direct our path. So um, let's order our days in a way that we are attaching ourselves to Jesus. We are following him because he is the way, he is the truth, and he is the life that we want. Um, and so <clears throat> what are the things that stir our affections for the Lord? Certainly, God says that there's three things we definitely need to be doing. One is we need to pray, right? We just need to talk to God. That's not, it's nothing fancy. It's just talking to God, just um, pouring out your heart to God. One of the ways you can do that is through acts, adoration, confession, thanksgiving, and supplication. So you adore God. Um, you confess your sin to God. Um, you thank him, and then you apply it to your life through supplication. So, um, so we need to pray. Um, we need to be in the word, right? God has given us his word. Second Timothy um, 3.16 says, All scriptures God breathed is useful in teaching, rebuking, and correcting, and training us in righteousness to be the boys and girls and men and women um, that God desires us to be. Um, and then we need to have fellowship. Um, and so that's a little bit like what we're doing right now um, and spurring each other on. So just want to encourage you guys with that to stay attached to the vine, to be praying and to be in fellowship in these times, We're reminding ourselves of the truth that Jesus is the only one who will give us the water that will quench our thirst altogether. Remember the woman at the well? And he says, oh, woman, um, if you only knew the water I was offering you, it's water that will quench your thirst altogether. So um, just remember that. Stay attached to the vine. Abide. Um, stay close to Jesus and, let, Jesus and let's follow him in this time. Hope you're well.